Welcome back to this episode of Rad BMX Builds. Today, we're gonna hang some bikes up on this wall behind me. So we're gonna have to take down the banners, move all of these bikes out of the way, and we're gonna hang three of the 20 inch bikes. I haven't chosen them yet, so you're gonna help me do that. And then we're gonna hang them up on this wall right here, one in the middle, one on each side. So I got these brand new mounts off Amazon and I'm gonna link them down below. And if you like them, use that link to go buy them. That's gonna help me out, it's an affiliate link. Doesn't cost you any extra money, but it's definitely some rad parts I'm gonna add to my Amazon store. Okay, here's the wall right here in front of us. I need to take all those banners down and pull all of these bikes out away from the wall so I can work on there. I already know it's gonna require some measuring. We're gonna use the center line in the floor here to do the first bike, which will be the middle one. And then once that's on the wall, we'll measure the distance to do the left and right side. I don't know exactly the three bikes I wanna use. I'm thinking probably my three favorites to begin with. I can always swap these bikes out, but I am gonna measure it in a way to where they will always be 20 inch bikes, which I have quite a few of to choose from. But maybe I'm thinking like some race bikes to start out. Also, on a side note, might not be in this video, but I wanna take my Kuahara ET bike right here and I wanna hang it from the ceiling up in that corner. And I think that's just gonna require probably two hooks and a strap or two to hang it from. But that's gonna be something else. Um, if it comes out in this video, that's a bonus for you. If not, make sure you hit the subscribe button and you can see me hang that at a later date along with all the other rad content that I'm gonna post on this channel. We've got a lot of things coming, a lot of different stuff in the shop, like all of these bigger bikes, 26ers, 24s, and then the Haro Radical Rick build, which I'm gonna start on next week. So make sure you're subscribed and follow along for that. All right, I know you're tired of hearing me talk. Let's get busy tearing open the package and checking out these new wall mounts. Okay, as you can see from the box, it comes with all the hardware you need. This right here will be the main hanging point and will probably grab the crossbar of the bike. Then you're gonna get two of these and this goes underneath the front tire and the rear tire. So three total points of contact for your bike as it mounts on the wall. And it came with all the mounting hardware to mount these to the wall, drywall screws and all that stuff. So it should be a pretty easy install. I think the hardest part honestly is making sure that they're all equally spaced and you get the height that you want. So I need to pull these bikes away from the wall, but I need to remember where the seats are on these bikes in comparison to the wall. So the bike I hang, the bottom of the tires that sit on these is a little higher than those seats. I don't want them to hang below it, but I also don't want the bike too high to where the handlebars are right up there against the roof. So let's get to measuring.
Okay, as you can see, we made some really good progress. We got all three bikes hung up. I was gonna surprise you. I was gonna hang up the Kuohara ET bike, but the hooks I bought just didn't work out. But I know you wanna see these because they look absolutely rad. I got the banners up because I want you to see what it's gonna look like. This wall is not totally done yet because I've ordered two new banners with the new logo on them, and they should be coming in about a week. But I don't wanna wait that long to share this with you. All right, let's check out the wall. Let's check out the mounts. And remember, if you want a bike mount just like these, the link is down below. Please go check it out. Now, let's check out the wall. The first bike I decided to hang up was the GT Mach 1. And then I went with my favorite, my PK Ripper, and then the Redline 500B. Now, my logo, the new paint splatter one with the black background is gonna go there and the paint splatter logo with the white background is gonna go up there. So this wall will have Rad BMX builds in the middle, the Rad BMX on that side and that side with paint splatters, and then I have all of the other banners below, and now it's time to put all of the 20 inch bikes back where they belong in that rack, and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like all set up. Okay, as you can see, I got all the bikes back in the rack, but let's take a look at what they look like overall. And I have an empty spot, which means I must have another bike coming, but let's check out what I have so far. Okay, probably still got some more organizing to do, but I tried to lump together a lot of the freestyle bikes and then a lot of the race bikes. Now, if you know me, I move things around quite a lot. So this is just the initial setup on what it's gonna look like. The banners will be here in about a week. The bikes are gonna move around a little bit, but really I just wanted to make this video so you could see how these wall mounts work and get some of these bikes up off the floor. Good for display, good for more room, and if you want them, the link's down below. Also, if you want some merch, radbmxbuilds.com slash merch. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks again for tuning in, and as always, stay rad.